Um, it's been a very emotional roller coaster. We've been angry, we've been sad, um, very confused. Now at noon, heartbreak from the family of a Winter Springs mother found dead inside a storage unit. Now we know her accused killer will be facing the death penalty. Shakira Rucker's family spoke today along with state attorney Andrew Bain. Bain announced that Rucker's estranged husband has now officially been charged with first degree murder. West 2's Bob Hazen has reaction and what comes next in the family's fight for justice. Already a convicted killer from a case back in the 90s and Shakira Rucker's family told us that they agree with the move to seek the ultimate penalty. Her children will never be able to see her again. It's hard. It's hard. Deidre Rucker could not keep back the tears but stood to speak for her sister Shakira Rucker and support the state attorney's decision. Andrew Bain's office filing their notice today that they plan to ask for the death penalty after a grand jury handed up a first degree murder indictment against Shakira Rucker's estranged husband Corey Hill. Um, there are two statutory aggravators that will be listed on that uh, the death notice in this case. One being the cold calculating methodology of the homicide and the second being um, a prior violent um, offense from a 1992 murder in Virginia. Investigators say in November, Hill murdered Rucker after she found out that he'd been in a relationship with another woman. They say he left her body in a storage unit in a popka, then went to that other woman's house and tried to kill her too. Rucker's family searched for a week after she disappeared, holding out hope that she'd be found alive. And her death and the way that it happened has been hard for them, but her mom says they're staying strong through their faith and family and for her four children. Her children, they're trying to stay as strong as possible. It's not easy for them also, but we are glad, you know, that, you know, things are working the way that they are and everybody worked so hard on this case. In Orlando, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.